What are business organizations? A business is a firm or entity that is usually legally constituted to provide goods and services to customers or consumers. Small companies, large companies, or a group of companies, government departments, non-profit, making groups, and professional groups are all referred to as organizations. An organization is a formal group of people who work together to meet a common goal. Now, persons who are not owners or investors are considered labor. So why do businesses exist? Number one, to provide goods and services. The range of goods and services that one can access is endless. Just think about the preparation you're involved in to get ready for school or work or wherever you're going. From the bed from which you rise to the taxi or bus you take, these things that we utilize in our everyday life are considered goods and services. Number two, to make a profit. Businesses exist to ensure the livelihood of investors or operators. Now, the term profit means the excess of sales over the course of doing a business or doing business. The profit motive is usually what motivates business owners, large and small alike. Now, it is the difference between what the cost is to produce a good or service and what the customer pays for such good and service. Number three, to provide income for government. Now, all businesses organization need to satisfy government regulations to pay all taxes due through income, sales, and profits. All businesses are required to pay statutory obligations for the business and employees as well. This payment provides income for the government, which uses the revenue to run the affairs of the country. Now, business do not always make profits. Sometimes they report losses, and losses are incurred when the business expenses exceed the revenue, hence resulting in a loss. Number four, to create employment. Now, to increase productive output, in most cases, more labor force is required. Hence, a business will employ more persons, creating more employment options. Those who work provide labor, that is physical or mental work, for which salary and wages are generally paid. Okay? Now, therefore, labor refers to the people who work for organizations or for themselves. Business industry needs the input of human effort in terms of physical and intellectual abilities to carry out the various activities. Even in the industry where robotics plays a significant role in our productivity or productive activity, human effort is also still needed. The role of stakeholders in business there are two types of stakeholders, both internal stakeholders and external stakeholders. Now, internal stakeholders. Number one, managers. Now, managers plan, organize, control, make decisions, and protect the interests of the owners and investors. The business team must be concerned about increased efficiency in the business organization if it is to achieve high levels of profitability. Number two, employees. They carry out various activities assigned to them, contract to work for specific periods per day, week, or even month to complete agreed on assignments and meet the needs of internal and external customers. In return, they expect to be paid in keeping with their qualifications, experience, level of skills and competence, and the nature of the work, reasonable working conditions, and excellent internal customer service. Number three, the board of directors.
Ex these are persons who are expected to represent the interests of all stakeholders of the business organization, owners and investors. These are the persons who own the business because they invest in it. Investors expect the management to exercise professionalism and diligence so there can be a fair return on investment to protect their interests, to be respectful of them, to be efficient in the use of the organization's resources, and to keep them informed about happenings of the business organization. So now we'll be looking at the external stakeholders. Now for external stakeholders, this would be your customers or consumers. These are the backbone of the business. They buy the goods, or access the service provided by the business. A business is obliged to understand the needs of the customers and to meet such needs. Provide products and services at reasonable prices and offer high quality service in an effort to build a customer loyalty. So next would be creditors or suppliers. Now, these are the persons who are responsible for providing the materials that the business organization needs to produce its products. As external stakeholders, they expect the business to be sensitive to their needs and pay promptly. Okay, next on the list is the government. Now, the government expects businesses to comply with the regulations that govern their operation. Now, such as paying their taxes, create wealth, and provide employment for the people. Last, but certainly not least, we have the community. Now, the community in which a business operates and the society as a whole would expect it to be a good corporate citizen by showing concern for the environment, respect for human dignity, providing employment, supporting community events, and promoting good human relationships. Okay, guys, so I'll be giving you just a little homework where you list in the comments section three things a business can do to help your community. So put your answers in the comment section below this video, right, this video. Okay, so if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. And remember to share with someone who is doing this same subject. And oh, guys, be sure to check out oh, some of our other videos on the screen right now. Okay, guys, I thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.